Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force with some more Hearthstone. Today we're going to be doing some more ladder climbing, uh, this time with a Zulok deck. Probably something you're very familiar with if you've been doing any laddering recently. Oh, it's not, not a great opening hand. I'm honestly not too thrilled about that. Uh, Soulfire, double Elven Archer, and a Direwolf Alpha. Womp, womp, womp. I I'm just praying honestly that we draw into anything else. Uh, I guess the Elven Archer... This is going to be a decent response to that, so let's just throw that down, I suppose. We could actually... Yeah, you know what? Actually, why don't we do this? I'm going to double Elven Archer to kill that. This way we can Direwolf Alpha and hit him next turn for 4 damage. Now, the Elven Archers... Here's the thing with these cards. You can use them to ping things off, but one of the great uses for them in this particular deck is to trigger the Enrage on your own Berserkers. Uh, so this variant that we're running is pretty standard, pretty straightforward. It's also uh, something that I'm sort of debating. This this variant is running double Soulfire, double Doomguard, and my thoughts on that are can be kind of bleh. <laughs> um, just because if you get both of them in the same hand, it's kind of sucky, you know, no matter what chances are you're going to lose one or the other if you play one of them. Because ideally you play either one of those cards when your hand is empty, but if you empty your hand and you've got a Doom Guard and a Soul Fire in it, it's sort of like, uh, <laughs> you know. Alright, so let's see what our opponent's going to do. He's going to Rock Butter Weapon. He'll be killing our 2-2 two -two here. Taking 2 to the face, bringing him down to 26. Uh, now we can Ooh, another Dire Wolf Alpha. Or we could just Shatter Sun Cleric. And then next turn... Uh, well, I'm guessing if he had a Lightning, he would have played it. If we Shatter Sun Cleric, next turn we could Dire Wolf Alpha, and if we draw a 1 or 2 drop, we could also play that. So let me do this. Let me go with this route. So again, this way, if I draw a 1 or a 2 drop next turn, I'll be able to play the Alpha as well as whatever my draw is. Or I could play the Alpha and just tap. I try, try to think of that mana curve as you play these cards. There's a Feral Spirit. This is probably going to force my hand to toss down a Soul Fire. Okay, so there we go. That's, that's sort of exactly what I was looking for. Um... Alright, so we're going to be soul firing. We'll lose the Crusader. Do you need a blessing? But this way we don't lose too much of our board here. And we hit him in the face. Now we just, essentially at this point, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that he doesn't clear the board with a lightning storm right now. Because if he doesn't, then we're in a pretty solid position for next turn. We're going to be able to do some pretty significant damage. Likely play something and tap. Okay, awesome. That's fine. That's fine by me. All right. Um, I'm going to pump that up, kill that, and then keep all this in play. More training. And bring him now down to 10 health. Pass the turn on over. So at this point, the game's looking pretty good for us. Nothing is obviously certain, but uh, this is a matchup that I have had fair success uh, with in the past. That is Zulok versus the mid-range Shaman decks. It's been a fairly successful matchup for us. And again, this game has gotten off to a good start. Spell Power Lightning Storm could be pretty... Obviously devastating, because that gives him the potential to clear our board. So let's see if he's got that response. So lightning, I'm assuming no, because he just threw down a lightning bolt on my fourth ray. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have more, more responses. Right now we've got Fatal in play. Alright, there we go. So he's throwing, throwing what he has at it. To try to make sure he doesn't die. And does a good job of clearing our board. There's a Knife Juggler. Let's go ahead and tap. And there's a Defender of Argus. That gives us... Let's see, three... Yeah, that doesn't really do. We're gonna just go with a Knife Juggler right now. Hmm. That extra health would not be bad either. Yeah, let's, let's go with the Defender of Argus, actually. I think the extra health is More 
training. Um, now the question is, do I kill this or do I hit him in the face? That extra spell power can be a little bit too scary. Gives him an easier chance of killing this, and now this is perfect. We've got two four health minions, so even if he throws down a lightning storm to clear our board, he would need, he can't get the spell power right now with it. So that's perfect. That's perfect. This is going to hit. That's fine. <laughs> that doesn't do the trick. Right now he's praying for a taunt totem. He doesn't get it. And that, my friends, will be game number one. And our next game will be against another Warlock. Uh, I'm con contemplating keeping the Elven Archer because board control and Warlock versus Warlock is very strong. And that one damage, uh, what, I mean, yeah, I don't even know actually. That one damage will help against a Priestess, but let's dump those two, see what else we get. We, eh, that's not really. I mean, the Flame Imp's good. Like, I'll, I'll, play, I'll be playing the Flame Imp here. Um, actually, the Argent Squire might be the better play right now. No, let's go with the Flame Imp in case he throws down a Taunt. Yeah, we're going to go with the Flame Imp. So if he throws down the Void Walker, this gives us a kill with the uh, Flame Imp attack plus an Elven Archer. Whereas if we did the Argent Squire, that would not be the case. So that's, that's my game plan here. And if he is also running Zulok, which there's like a 95% chance that he is, uh... He is. Uh, then we are going to want to focus on board control. All right, so he's going to soul fire. You, I mean, look at that. That's quite obvious. That 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 goes to show you how strong of a focus board control is in this matchup. Our opponent soul fired that creature so as to try not to lose his knife juggler. Now we should be able to kill his knife juggler unless. No, we should be able to kill his knife juggler because even with two knives, that won't be enough. Do you need a blessing? Oh boy, actually, that's not good at all. We're not gonna be able to kill his knife. Oh, okay, good. Whew. But still, okay, we'll get the two. Hopefully, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A little scared there for a second, but we uh, we do luckily have the answer. Uh, we are off to a rough start, though. No question about that. Um, He's got very, a very good board, and that his creatures are going to be getting health. Looks like he'll only be playing one creature, though, which is good for us. Uh, but he's also worked us down quite a bit. Uh, we're going to continue, though, to focus on board control. That is, that's going to be our MO, through and through. Alright, so I'm going to actually have to trade that and that. Because I need, I need to kill his stuff. Um, so if we go like this... That'll give that three, and then I can give that. So that'll only be okay. That's fine. We'll go that way. So we're gonna have to go like this, and then with this, we're gonna kill that. And then we're gonna throw him down. Excellent. So this is gonna give us a kill for his two three. It's really it's really tough, you know, uh, when you get behind in this matchup. It's sort of. <laughs> Yeah, I've been on the opposite end of this before, and it just sort of, I don't know, it's rough stuff. And this is very rough now, now we've got, now we can't get by that. It's gonna be a five. Well, actually, yeah. now we especially can't get by it. Very, very annoying. Especially if he has a response for a Void Walker right now. Because if this goes up to four health, then we're gonna have to throw both of our creatures at it unless we draw into a pump up Which this deck has a fair amount of uh, pump up as well as just straight up removal in the soul fire That is very annoying because now he can go like that and mm, I don't like that one bit Please don't have a mortal coil If he has a mortal coil my day is ruined. Okay, there we go there's a Doom Guard. Okay, so we go this way to pump him up. We go like this. And with the Doom Guard, believe it or not, I'm going for his creature. Uh, this gives me a better chance of keeping this Berserker in play. Which, if it stays in play, if he can't kill it right now, that's <laughs> pretty awesome for us. Uh, a Soul Fire will not be enough to kill our Doom Guard. 
He could soul fire mortal coil, of course. Argent commander, that's that'll do it. Shattered Sun Cleric, I like. It's another Doom Guard. We must and a Shattered Sun Cleric. And we will be killing his core too. So we've we've been going back and forth for board control. I've managed to swing it back in my favor, at least as of now. That could all turn change this turn though, with a few knife juggles. Let's see if he gets a okay. Whew. I'm very very pleased that. I'm also very pleased because we're gonna be able to play both of these right now. Plus tap. All right. So we need to get rid of this stuff. Trying to think of how I want to do it though. We'll go. Hmm. I mean, at this point, I could also hit him in the face because this is a very daunting board for him to deal with. And then just kill his knife juggler. I'm gonna hit him in the face with these two. And then we're just gonna kill his knife juggler. That way he doesn't get like a free kill with knife throws of this Doom Guard. This at least forces him to commit to it with. A creature or another spell or whatever and he's still got this 5-7 to deal with too now at any point he'll be throwing down doom guards of his own just a matter of time really happy though he sitting on this defender of Argus that's for certain he's gonna pump that up and does he have a defender of Argus of his own that'd be a very good play from him we must no shatter Sun Clark okay good so I'm really thinking of just committing to his face at this point. Well, let's see, we've got six, seven, eight damage, so we're only need to find two more. If we can dig into two more damage, that's it. There it is, that's the game. That is the game. Started off a bit behind. Managed to pull our way back in though, which makes me a happy camper. There you go, game number two. We'll play. Game number three, the opponent, a uh, druid. Uh, we're gonna dump everything. The Berserker's nice, don't want any of the Soul Fires or the Dark Iron Dwarf, but with a, with a four-hand opener, with the coin, I'm hoping for two one-drops. That's okay. Ideally, though, I'd want the Voidwalker and the Priestess, but this is this is okay as well. We could coin, we could just, we can, well, actually, we might just straight up Voidwalker, yeah. There's no super incentive to coin right now. When you've got Voidwalker Priestess though, that is many times for me enough of a reason to coin. But what we can do at this point is we can open up with the Voidwalker and depending on what he does, we could go next turn, Squire, turn after a coin Defender of Argus. That is a pretty awesome board come turn three. He's gonna Wrath though, so there goes our Voidwalker. Good play by him. And I think we are gonna throw down both of these, actually. A lot of times I won't throw down the Elven Archer by itself, but because we can set up for a Defender of Argus, which will put us in play with uh, two two twos as well as a 2-3. And that's sort of, that's swipe proof, you know what I mean? That's, which is a good, good position to be in. Okay, so he's obviously, why would I not <laughs> assume that he would do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I wouldn't have just assumed that he was going to do that, but anyway. Let's go with this. I mean, this would be- this isn't even better to taunt into, and we hold on to the coin, so. I, what was I thinking? I wasn't even thinking- I wasn't even thinking- I was like, oh yeah, of course- of course he would have shapeshifted into that. If I had taken a moment to think, I would have relayed that information to you. That was the obvious play. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. And that's why, my friends, you don't just play Elven Archer by itself. You play Elven Archer to finish off things, or... Yikes! There's the silence. Please, please, please don't have a kill for it. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, no! Oh, that is so terrible! That is so terrible for us. That makes me sad in a million and one ways. This game is off to a horrendous start. The opponent is doing an amazing job of fending off our aggression. An absolutely amazing job. Um, we are going to have a decent turn of our own, though. For once. We lose the second defender of Argus, but this is a board that I can be comfortable with. Uh, two taunt creatures, a 2-2 two, two, and a 3-2. 
One of them as well has the Divine Shield. Next turn might be a life tap turn. Unless we, I mean, if we draw into Doomguard, hell, I'll take that too, but I'm not going to assume that. I must safeguard There's a Silence. That's a good target. That is this second Silence creature. Hmm. Can't do both. Kind of need to kill that because what I concern what I'm what I'd be concerned about is a swipe into this. Plus, he would kill that and then leave this creature in play. So, at the very least, this gets rid of this dude. I don't like it, but because I don't like losing my taunt. But I mean, I'm not worried about charges in this matchup, anyways. What what I'm worried about in this matchup is his, him throwing down those huge taunts, which he will be doing. Inevitably. I just have to kind of pray that he doesn't have a swipe or a wrath. There's a good chance he's got one or the other, or both, though. Okay. Right, let's see. I'm hoping to draw into a one or two drop. Okay. So, let's see. I want this. I want one of these two knives to ping the shield master. Uh, I don't like that. Because I'm contemplating pumping this guy up, but the only way that works is if the knife hits the shield master. Because this is four damage. Unfortunately, I can't count on that. It's a 50-50 chance. I, I can't count on it. Uh, it sucks. It really that sucks so much. That sucks so much that the knife ended up hitting that. But I couldn't count on it. And the worst case scenario would have been if I pumped up the 2-3, made it a 4-3, and the knife hit him in the face, then I've had to sacrifice both creatures to get through it. So it's sort of a lose no matter what. Is this a second swipe? Yeah, second swipe. Kills her 5-2 this time. Oh, you know what I'm happy about, though, is hands empty. The thing that sucks, though, is that he's going to be throwing some big taunts in play sooner or later. And that is going to pretty much be death for us. As soon as he throws a huge taunt in play, we're kind of sitting here with our tail between our legs, basically. Even his, uh, even his five six, or excuse me, four six, will be pretty abysmal. All right, so he's going to get rid of one of these two two ones. I think he's used both innervates. Is that correct? I believe so. Anyways, I believe he's used both innervates. Priestess. Right. We kind of have to do this. Obviously, he's just going to attack into the 2 1 with a shapeshift or something else. But basically, at this point, as soon as he throws down a taunt, GG. I, it's just. Even though, you know, oh, he's at 11, it doesn't. Although, he could be running Force Roar, in which case. He might not have a lot of taunts. I mean, he's got, he has to have the two. Druid of the Claws, because even Force Roar runs those, because you can play them aggressively. Maybe he just hasn't drawn into them this game. We'll find out right now. If he's, okay. All right. All right. Well, even that's a pretty big uh, shot to the gut. Flame Imp. Ugh, double Flame Imp is not what I wanted to see. <laughs> this sucks about as bad as it could suck. We're taking that damage. We're taking six damage straight to the face. This opens up a kill for him for us next turn. And he can clear both of these and still have two creatures in play. But I couldn't just not play. You know what I mean? I couldn't. Yeah. This will be the loss for today, my friends. Lore. He's gonna gain five life, or it could do a card draw. Eh, there's a card draw. Wild growth for another card draw. So he's gonna clear these two. Have both creatures still in play. That guy's gonna come back, obviously, but still, still has two creatures in play. Hmm. 
Alright. So we've got six damage. In play, he's got damage to kill us. So we obviously have to... As much as I don't want to, we obviously have to get rid of his creatures. Because, because we had no other choice. He would have just killed us next turn. And that is the game. Soul fire, not enough. Arjun Squire. GG. Oh, all right, my friends, that's going to do it for today's Hearthstone Ladder Climb video. Thank you so much for watching, playing a couple of games with the Zulok deck. It's all right. I, I definitely prefer control much more. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fairly successful deck, though. It's definitely uh, an inexpensive deck that you can use to climb the ladder. Um, I just like control a little more. Too bad Control Warrior is kind of garbage right now. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Stay tuned. More Hearthstone coming up on other great stuff. I'll see you around. Keep watching and keep owning.